three games. The words that come up are command, confidence, playing like an MVP. How do those things factor in your ability to, again, manage a game where at times it looked like you guys were down and out? You know, I've, I've been through this before when I snapped my ankle. The fans chant MVP and all that kind of stuff. All the self-glory, that stuff is fleeting. I've already been through that. Uh, God took me to a place that all I want to do is glorify him. And wherever he's going, that's where I want to go. And so if it's a win, awesome. If it's not, I'm still going to glorify him. <laughs> How confident do you think this team is? That's right. We glorify God over here. It's like our father Abraham. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Amen. All the glory goes to God. That's all day. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. Glorify God on this behalf for the gospel's sake. Our Apostle Paul preaches that gospel right here in 1 Corinthians 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and where ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, and that he was seen as Cephas, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part made into his presence with some are fallen asleep. So believe on that gospel. Believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Son of God. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. They gave him up to Pilate, they that dwell at Jerusalem, to be slain. And he did that for the forgiveness of sins. He laid it down his life so that we could live through him. And after they buried him, after he died on that cross, he resurrected on the third day by the power of God. And he was witnessed alive. By over 500 brethren, according to the scriptures. And if you believe in that gospel from your heart, that is the gospel. That is the power of God unto salvation. Romans 1 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Right here in Ephesians 1 13, it says, In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Go back right here to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 17. It says, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Right here it says, For after that in the wisdom of God the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. So I just want to come on here, glorify God, share this gospel. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not obeyed the gospel. For as saith, saith, Lord, who have believed our report, so then faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So that's why I preach that gospel to you guys right now. I pray you guys call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. For scripture says, for whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart 
that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So a true believer would say that, I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God had raised him from the dead. According to the scripture, thou shalt be saved. First, first Peter 1.23 says, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. So you become born again by the word of God, everybody. That incorruptible seed. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is the word by, which by the gospel is preached unto you. Believe on the gospel, man. Go Raiders, Raider Nation. Thank, thank you, Jesus, man. That's our quarterback. He gave me glory to God. As it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord right here. That according as it is written, he that glory, let him glory in the Lord. That's all he did was give all honor, praise, and glory to God. Thank you, Jesus.